Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to tell if Windows 10 license is an OEM version, a retail version, or a volume version. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, if you've purchased a, a license key, then you're going to want to know what version it is. So go down to the search box and type CMD, then run the command prompt as administrator. Once you've got this open, you can type in this simple command SLMGR space dash DLI. That's all you need to do. And then once you've typed that out and push enter, it will pop up a Windows script and tell you what version of Windows you are running. So if you've purchased one of those keys online, then you'll know exactly what version you've got. You can see here the version I'm running on here tells me it's Windows 10 Professional Edition. It's also telling me it's a retail copy and it also gives me a partial readout of my license key. Now this is a retail version which we call a full package product and uh, this is a box copy basically. You're going to get a Windows disk, you're going to get the COA sticker with, which has your license key on there and you can normally install this onto the computer. Now if you change any of the computer components or buy a new computer you can reinstall that version of Windows on that computer. As long as it's only on one computer at any one time, you can use that retail version over and over again. That is the bonus of having a retailed license. Now, of course, retailed licenses are going to cost a lot more money to purchase. So bear that in mind when you're buying a Windows uh, 10 license key. So if you're getting a retail copy, you can install it on different uh, computers as you upgrade you can change out parts like motherboard and stuff like that and it will still activate because it's a retailed version now normally the pcs you buy in the shop are normally oem version licenses or if you go to a custom built pc uh, retailer uh, they are normally oem versions and you will normally see oem on the license here as you can see here now this is uh, embedded in the UEFI firmware chip on the motherboard so basically if you change out any hardware components on that computer normally what happens is you will lose activation on that system because now the hardware has changed and of course with an OEM license you can't do that it is a bound to that computer you can't uh, use it on any other computers as soon as you change out any hardware it then becomes uh, obsolete and you will have to buy another key now normally uh, what you can do is if you're selling the computer on with that uh, motherboard and everything else in it you can obviously transfer the computer over to a new user and that will be fine they can still use that license key but OEM versions are generally used uh, for you know computer repair shops they normally build computers and use OEM licenses now the volume uh, license is something that you don't want to be seeing when you purchased one of those keys and these are volume MAK product keys now these are normally issued by organizations and to businesses so if you're getting one of these or your CDs on the internet they're normally pirated copies and you'll see uh, KMS activated and stuff like that steer clear of those keys sometimes they're embedded with uh, root kits and uh, rats inside there which are going to allow remote assistance to your computer so don't download any of those on the internet they are uh, illegal and they are pirated versions of Windows so be very careful there you can pick up uh, cheap license keys online you're better off to do that than using the volume keys which are the KMS activated uh, keys out there and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can find out what license type you're using whether it be retail OEM or volume. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful to you guys. Don't forget you can always pop on our Discord server. It's free to join. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.